Driver vehicle inspections are an important part of the overall safe operation of a school bus. A quality pre-trip inspection by a driver can identify a defective equipment before it fails and saves the driver, the school and Guardian One transport from expensive roadside repairs, downtime and fines. The main objectives of conducting pre-trip inspections are to ensure the school buses are safe to operate, prevent loss to persons and property, and prevent unmanifested items being placed on board and to ensure strict compliance to regulatory requirements. Always ensure that the ignition key is under your control. Use care while entering and exiting the vehicle. Collect the kilometer book from the bus. Ensure that the handbrake is active if you are not sitting in front of the driver's seat. While walking towards the school bus, you should check for any vandalism or graffiti on the bus exterior, any damage in the school bus body, broken window or windshield glass, faded or ripped window tinting, detached or incomplete stickers, flat or damaged tires. Adjust the seat so that the steering wheel, brake pedal, accelerator and all controls can be reached comfortably. Check if your seatbelt is working. Check windshield, side windows and mirrors for cleanliness and cracks. Check all mirrors and make adjustments accordingly. Turn key to activate the ignition switch. Make sure transmission lever is in N or neutral position. Start the engine and let it warm up at idle. Functionality of switches, controls and indicators are very important to ensure safety of your passengers and other motorists. Check if the AC is cooling. The ideal temperature is between 22 to 25 degrees Celsius to ensure fuel efficiency. Check if the horn is working. Check if washers and wipers are properly working. Check if the headlights are working. Check if stop board is opening and closing. Check for fuel and other oil levels. Check if the odometer is working. Check if the CCTV system is working. If a red dot shows on each section of the monitor, it indicates that the DVR is recording. The radiator water. Exercise caution when opening the radiator cap as hot water might burst from the pipe opening. The engine oil. Remember to dip the stick twice. You should consider the second dip as the correct engine oil level. The AC should be working for all seats. During the morning pre-trip inspection, open all ducts to let the air flow inside the bus. The emergency door. It should be functional in case of emergencies but it should be securely locked during normal circumstances. If the seat belts are functional, ask your bus attendant to help you with checking the belts so that the exercise is completed faster. The cleanliness of the bus. Ask your bus attendant to help you with this. If the bus boards, route board and no student on board are available in the front and back window of the school bus. If the emergency numbers and information are clearly displayed inside the bus, the following emergency equipment should be available and functional at all times whenever the school bus is deployed for a trip. Fire extinguisher. Check if the equipment is not yet expired and if the pressure gauge is in the green. First aid kit. Safety hammer. All tires are having the appropriate amount of pressure. The driver should also check the tires for cuts, bubbles, tread wear and other visible damages. All indicators and lights are working. Do not ask your bus attendant to do the checks for you as her knowledge with operating a school bus will be very limited. Fuel tank, cap and other external doors are locked and secured. It is essential that all these checks are done before commencing any school trip. Remember. 
You as a school bus driver is responsible for yours and others' lives, so it is very important to check your school bus for any fault or damage. Feel free to watch again or ask a supervisor, foreman or team leader if you have any question. Stay safe, drive safe.